Now listen, I am very aware that this video is very long overdue, but you know, I got a new dog, life's been a little hectic. I took a Twitter poll, I said, is it too late? And you guys said no. So here we are, I wanted to do an entire video on my 2017 fitness favorites. And I'm not just talking products, I'm talking things I changed up in my work schedule. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again without further ado let's jump into this video i hope you're ready though because this video might be a little bit longer than you know my normal videos because we got a lot of stuff to talk about but i'm gonna go through it as quickly as possible so i don't take too much of your time so my first favorite 2017 i got this girl at the very end of 2017 okay are you ready for it this is my brand new puppy oh this is baby indigo indy for short you see i really like the color blue you guys already know that so i have a navy and i have an indigo but we call her indy for short and we end her name with a y you know because whitney with the y navy with the y indy with the y now baby indy is navy's really really real life real sister so we finally got navy a sister i had to keep it a secret for so long i wanted to make sure it was just a really perfect fit for our family and that navy loved her and it's just been so much fun huh? i'm sure this year you'll be seeing a lot more of her but she was my favorite my favorite favorite of 2017 the perfect way to end my 2017 right navy yeah He's tired because he runs around and plays with her all day. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to talk about a product, then I'll talk about something I changed in my fitness routine this year. So my first favorite, okay? My very first favorite, and I apologize because they are dirty. One of my favorite discoveries, I think I talked about these in my March favorites this year, are my Converse shoes. Now, I would always see people wearing Converse on leg day, and I was like, what in the world? Don't you need, like, a little bit more support on leg day? And then... My eyes were opened to flat soles. So previously I was working out in like super thick, I'll just show you, this is another favorite. I used to do my leg days in like massive cushiony soles and it just, why was I doing that? Converse have a very, very, very flat sole and it keeps you closer to the ground. So I wear these on leg day and when I do movements like deadlifts, whoo man. The activation and the difference you feel when you just have that flat sole, it's insane. You guys know I have some very, very, very stubborn hamstrings. The first workout I had with these on, I was sore in my hamstrings, and that is rare. Every leg day, I wear these. In fact, I met the cutest girl at the gym today, and she was like, I knew you were working legs because I saw your Converse, and I was like, wow. Speaking of leg day, something that I completely changed about my leg days this year was instead of focusing on quads, I now focus solely on hamstrings and glutes. And I'm definitely not neglecting my quads. You guys know I do a ton of compound movements and compound movements usually 99.9% .9 of the time hit my quads as well. So one thing I completely changed was focusing more on targeting my hamstrings and glutes on leg day rather than my quads when it used to be the complete opposite. And I don't know why I didn't piece those two things together. But what did I tell you about a fitness journey, you know? We're all learning. It's a learning process. I'm still learning. <laughs> so after a full year of training like this, I definitely feel like my legs have a lot more balance to them. When I used to feel like I was just super quad dominant with zero hamstrings, and now I definitely feel like there's a lot more balance in my legs. Okay, I'm gonna skim over this one because I've talked about this a million times in favorites videos and in workout videos all the time on Instagram, on YouTube, you guys already know. 2017 was the year of resistance bands for me. I mean, I talked your ear off about these. So I have my small resistance bands and I have my long resistance bands. I use the long ones almost every single workout, whether I toss them in with squats like I showed you in my last leg video, or I'm using them to warm up, especially on shoulder day. I do like rear delt flies oh i even have a thicker one than this black one and i use it for pull-ups all the time i mean these things just hit those accessory muscles that dumbbells can't really hit mm. and they're so dang cheap i've had these all year the black one is 13 dollars. the red one is nine dollars it's like i stole those you know i talked about these last year too but once again still using them i love these with my entire heart and soul i use them every single leg day for glute activation exercises which i'll get to in a minute this comes in a pack of three the yellow is the lightest but i mostly stick with the medium and the heaviest you guys know how much i like to switch it up you know add pulses add resistance bands so these guys i've had for well over a year and they've never snapped on me 
Oh, I love them. So speaking of glute activation exercises, that was another discovery of 2017 that completely changed and amped up my leg day. I've done an entire video on glute activation exercises. It's just a way to really get your blood going, pump your muscles, awaken them. I wrap that small band around my quads. I do some side steps. My glutes, they are crying. And then they're just ready to just be engaged, be ready for this workout. Who knew the smallest changes five minutes before leg day would make the biggest difference. I feel my glutes working so much more during my leg days and I may not have the world's biggest glutes, but I mean, I think they're growing. Navy Simmons, my sweet angel. You know we don't bark when I'm filming. All right, I have to talk about three of my favorite leggings. I wore them day in and day out this year, starting off with my Lululemon Aligns. I always let you know what my outfit is on every Instagram post, and I always will just write Lululemon. If I'm wearing Lululemon, you know I'm wearing Lululemon Aligns. And it's super funny because if you get online Lululemon and look at the reviews of the Aligns, people say that these are terrible and that you should not be training in them. And I don't understand those reviews. The only thing I have to say that's a little bit negative about the Alliance is they're just so paper thin. They're so buttery soft, but they are paper thin. If I'm bloated or it's that time of the month or I'm just not feeling my best self that day, I kinda gotta stay away from these guys. These make your butt look phenomenal. They're 7 8 length, so they're a little bit shorter. I never struggle with the pilling. In fact, this is my oldest pair of Alliance. I've had these almost all year and we got nothing. I mean, there's nothing on here. These are technically for yoga, I believe, but I love to strength train in these. This is the best $98 I've ever spent, okay? I know it's ridiculous. It is so worth it. The quality is superb. It wouldn't be a favorites video of the entire year if I didn't mention Gymshark. 2017 was my first year with Gymshark. <sighs> I'm so proud to be a part of a company that is growing and learning and they are expanding like crazy. I'm just so thankful, so extremely thankful to be a part of the Gymshark team. They've given me so many opportunities this year and the biggest opportunity is being able to meet my subscribers and all my girls. And I wore these guys like crazy this year. First the Flex, they launched the version two of the Flex, version two, version three, one of one of the versions of the new flex leggings and I look through my Instagram feed of when these launched and every single Instagram video is in a different color of the flex leggings. I love them. If you are looking for a legging to make your bum look whoo, this is what you need. I wear small knees. I've done an entire review reviewing these. I love them. And then of course the seamless. Now this is the Energy Seamless, but they also released the previous version of the Seamless, and I wore those all year long. I also have an entire video on these. These are 7 8 lengths. I love them. They're beautiful. So definitely a favor of 2017 is the Flex and the Seamless from Gymshark, you know? It's like I had to stop wearing them because I was just wearing them too much, and I didn't want to be called an outfit repeater, you know? I don't need to go back to high school again. Now, you guys might think this one's a little bit dramatic, okay? But when I say that I found the world's best water bottle. I'm not joking. I showed you guys this like June, July. I think it was my July favorites. I used to have a Hydro Flask like two years ago. I stopped using it because I didn't have a straw and now they have a straw and this water bottle just keeps your water cold for a year. I put some ice in this and some water and I set it on my bed stand over there and then I go to bed, I wake up, there's still ice in it. I cannot drink water unless it's in a Hydro Flask now, you know? That's the point I've gotten to in my life. It's quite embarrassing, but it's worth it. Ah. I'll say my biggest fear is denting my Hydro Flask and I have one dent in it and it just haunts me, you know? It just taunts me every day. Now, up until Whitmas began, so December, I was taking this pre-workout every single day. You guys know when I do take supplements right now, I'm not really taking anything besides like vitamins, multivitamin probiotics. I switch between a lot of different brands, just trying some stuff out, but I always come back to this pre-workout. First of all, the taste is phenomenal. I like to mix some flavors, so the high volume I have in Blue Frost, and then the prolific I have in Cotton Candy. This pre-workout gives me that perfect, just mm, 
that I need to get to the gym and then I combine it with high volume and this high volume I've told you guys the pump that you will get with high volume. It's insane. You know what? I'm gonna start taking it again I was trying to cycle off pre-workout for a little bit, but then during Whitmas you guys know I had a issue where I drank a lot of white monster So now my goal is to cycle off of white monster and back onto one scoop of pre-workout a day This doesn't give me the jitters. It just makes me feel good. It makes me happy it keeps me focused throughout my workout and I Absolutely love these two products. It feels weird mentioning them because I feel like I haven't used them in so long But really I use them every single day all year long until December If you're looking for a wonderful pre-workout those guys there I ordered them off Amazon that should have been a favorite Amazon I have an Amazon favorites page where I list the pre-workout that I use the bands everything So if you ever have any questions about anything I'm using it's usually on my Amazon page, which will be linked below. I would like to talk about the brand Adidas as a whole, because in 2017, I made the switch from Nike to Adidas. 2017 was also the year that I learned that it's pronounced Adidas. So, here we are with my Adidas NMDs. I never thought I was ever going to be like the, the sporty lifestyle gym chic look and then adidas blew my mind this year i have so many lifestyle pieces that i've included in hauls in fact i got another haul coming up and there's like three items from adidas and if i'm not wearing my converse or my ultra boost for running i am always wearing my nmds this year my collection of nmds really expanded at a very alarming rate um somebody needs to cut my credit card take it away put it in the trash hide it from me because i have an addiction to these shoes so this just ended up being my favorite shoe this year i love it i think it's so freaking cute i think all of them are cute i think every single girl on instagram that posts fitness videos is wearing these shoes and you know why because they're the best. I will give you a heads up, in every single NMD pair that I've ever purchased, I go down half a size. So, if you wanna join that Adidas NMD gang, go down half a size. Alrighty guys, that is going to complete this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and loved it. We, you can't see a navy, but we love you guys so much. 2017 wouldn't have been the same without you guys so thank you for everybody who's joined this community started their fitness journey inspired me with their fitness journey we love you all right until next time we will see you next time you guys did great good job my pride and joy look at these chicken nuggets look at these chicken nuggets